But let's not forget the big one right now. The big avenue in the culture wars for Republicans is of course, critical race theory, critical race theory, which most of them can't even define. They have no idea what it actually means, but they hate it. And they're doing everything possible to make sure this is not taught in schools, even though it's already not taught in schools. And Florida's Republican governor, Ron DeSantis became the latest Republican last week to take aim at this imaginary foe to conservatism by signing a bill called the stop woke act. And the stop woke act prevents schools here in the state of Florida from teaching critical race theory, even though it wasn't a thing that was taught. Uh, you can't even hint at in schools now because of this legislation that there was ever any kind of racism in the United States justice system, which means I guess no more talking about slavery, no more talking about Jim Crow, no more talking about lots of portions of the United States uh, constitution. So I don't know what kids are going to be learning in history classes here in Florida, because it sure as hell isn't going to be American history anymore because DeSantis has made it to where if you find out that your child is being taught critical race theory in public schools here in the state of Florida, you can sue the school district. That's what he's doing. You, the parent can now sue that school district, which gets funding from the state, which DeSantis runs. So I, I guess in a way you're suing Ron DeSantis if your child learns about American history. Yeah. He didn't really think it through because that's not what Ron DeSantis does. He doesn't sit there and think things through. Ron DeSantis is only thinking about one thing and that's when is he going to be able to run for president of the United States? This is just the latest in legislation signed by Florida's Republican governor, Ron DeSantis this year about culture war issues. That's all the man knows how to do. This state is absolutely dying from COVID and most of them are Republicans. 62,000, I think we're up to deaths in the state of Florida from COVID uh, with Omicron out there numbers right back going up again, just like they are all over the country. And Ron DeSantis' biggest concern is critical race theory. That's already not being taught something he doesn't even define in the legislation. So of course it's going to open the door for any right wing parent to sue a school district. If their kid comes home and says, Hey, we learned about uh, Martin Luther King today. Hey, we learned about slavery today. Parents can say, wonderful. I'm going to go call my lawyer and we're going to put an end to this. Now it's unlikely that the legislation obviously is going to hold up in an actual court. But by the time we get to that, we will have seen countless lawsuits here in the state of Florida filed against public schools. We're going to drain them of resources, which they likely will not be able to get back. And that's going to put the burden back on the state. When these school districts, even if they win the lawsuits, right, they're still going to have to pay all the legal fees. Lawyers ain't cheap folks. And we're putting it on our already underfunded school districts. So even if they win, they're going to pay tens of thousands of dollars to defend themselves in court. Where are we going to make up that money again? Either they're going to have to raise taxes on Florida residents, which we know Republicans who control this state refuse to do. Uh, maybe they'll do it because it's on regular constituents and of course not corporations of the wealthy elite, or we're just going to have to eat the costs and sacrifice elsewhere in the schools. There's no good outcome for this is what I'm getting at here for the state of Florida and our public school system. Either we end up with even worse underfunded schools here in the state, or we end up with an entire generation of children that is completely ignorant about the real history of the United States. Neither one of those outcomes are good. They're, they're both very, very bad, but that's what Ron DeSantis is doing because he is now the king of the Republican culture wars. He's the general on the ground fighting these wars for them. And he's attacking things that don't exist. And like I said, this is not the first one he's done this year. He also signed the transgender athlete ban. Oh no, no, no. Transgender women can't play women's sports here in the state of Florida. Transgender men, however, can still play men's sports. Neither of those things are an issue though. Neither of those things have caused problems 
We have a lot of college football here in the state of Florida. We have a lot of pro football here in the state of Florida. Three major NFL teams, three major college teams, and a lot of secondary college teams as well. And that's just football alone. And not once has there ever been any kind of uproar over a transgender man or transgender woman attempting to play these sports and having some kind of unfair advantage. But Ron DeSantis knew that he could get his Republican base riled up about it. And of course, distract from the fact that people are dying in this state left and right from COVID. So it's a two prong, uh, victory for him. Really? He gets the pander to the worst people in the state and he gets to distract from his horrendous handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. And again, he's doing a dang good job of it. Nobody is fighting the culture wars as hard as Ron DeSantis. And of course, what's on the horizon for us, an abortion ban modeled after the one in the state of Texas too. I am Farron Cousins. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at Farron Balanced. We will be right back with more on the David Pakman show.